So we are going over how to wipe, reset, or re-image your computer. I'm kind of using those terms all, they're pretty much the same thing. I'm not gonna go into too much technical details with that. Um, so let's go over the first way to do this. We can, if you get logged in, we can go to the start menu and just type in reset. You should see an option to reset this computer and you can go ahead and click it. And you'll notice uh, this option right here, reset PC. And they'll, uh, Windows will give you two options, keep your files or remove everything. Uh, keep my files just means you're going to save everything that's in your desktop, downloads, documents, pictures, this kind of stuff. And it's going to delete everything else, which would be all of your applications, which you can find um, under this tab here. And then remove everything, of course, wipes your entire computer and you will just get a fresh out of box experience, which means it'll just be as if you just bought it from the store and start to install Windows. So let's assume that I'm just going to remove everything. I could just click this and then just go through this little setup here. Next, next, blah, 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 and then it'll begin to reset after you hit this last button here. Now, there's one other way to do this exact method. For whatever reason, maybe you need to uh, get into safe mode or you can't log in or something like that. If you were booting up your computer and you're able to get to the power button, if you hold down shift and press restart, you will actually get to this recovery mode, which I will show you in a second, and that will also let you reset your computer in the same way. As you can see here, we have choose an option. If you go to the troubleshoot, reset PC, and now we're in the exact same process as we were before. I'm not gonna go through this to reset my computer because I have one other method to show you guys. My preferred method is if you were to install Windows, on a USB stick and plug it into your computer. You can then go into your hard drive, delete out all of the files manually, and then reinstall Windows that way. So this is my preferred method of re-imaging and wiping a computer uh, rather than relying on the Windows built-in version. So for the second method, even though it's a little bit more technical, we will need to be downloading one piece of software to get it to work. And I will show you guys that now. One is going to be Microsoft Media Creation Tool. And that will be this here, Download Tool. Download Now. Grab this. So here we're going to accept. So hit the second option, which will select your USB drive. And if you have a USB drive put into your computer, this option will work fine. I don't have it in this, so I'm not gonna go through this whole setup for you, but all it is is next, next, install, and you're pretty much finished with the USB drive. So after that, you're going to want to boot your computer into BIOS. Now, every computer has a different method of booting into the BIOS or startup menu. So you will just have to turn off your computer, turn it back on and see if it pops up with the key that you're supposed to select. Usually it's either enter, escape, F12, F11. Every single motherboard will technically have a different uh, key to press to get into either the startup menu or the BIOS. So after you figure out what key you need to press to get into the BIOS, again, you would shut down your computer, find the correct key. It's either F2, F12, delete, enter, F11, F10. It could be a bunch of different things. Just try them all or just uh, search it up really quick for the computer that you have. Um, and again, it might say it on the screen when you first boot up your device. So once you get into the BIOS, you'll either see something very similar to what I'm looking at right now, and it'll show this boot priority on the right side. You would just move that USB to the top, okay? So you would just probably, for this one, it would just drag and drop to the top and then re reboot your computer, and it should boot to the USB. The other thing you might see is the startup options, and then you would just, again, kind of the same idea, you would just look through the list of startup boot devices and select the USB when you see it. 
now we're just going to go ahead and skip to what it looks like when you boot into the USB and want to wipe your computer or re-image it. Okay, so if you have done the USB boot drive correctly, the next screen you will see when you boot up your computer is this here. So we hit next, install now. The one thing that's important to keep in mind before we do this is you can either go back to your computer to get the product key, but if this is a different version of Windows, your product key may not work. However, if you have a Windows 10 Pro when you're upgrading to Windows 11, it needs to also be Windows 11 Pro. Same thing for the Home Edition. So if you have Windows 10 Home, you can upgrade for free to Windows 11 Home with no issues at all, and you wouldn't have to actually put in the product key. It would transfer automatically. Otherwise, there's a few options to be able to get it. You can purchase the product key or find a workaround. That I will not show you. So I'm going to select I don't have a product key because you don't actually need it to install Windows by any means. We'll just do the home version and hit next. Again, select the version that you want for your computer. You will want to match the version of your previous one. So accept the terms, next. And now here we're going to hit custom. And now for you, you should see something a little bit different here. Because I'm on a virtual machine, you don't see the same stuff. Um, but I can explain it to you really quick. You'll see drive zero, one, and two. Maybe it's just drive zero. It depends on how many hard drives are in your computer. You'll also see that drives partitioned. So it'll be drive zero and there might be like three of them. All we are going to do, if you want to delete all of the data on the hard drive, again, this is gonna make it unrecoverable, but we are re-imaging a computer. So that's kind of the point. You're gonna select the drive that you want your operating system on and you're gonna just hit delete, and you're gonna hit delete for each option. If you have drive one and drive two, just to make sure you don't want the data on there, and if you don't want it, you can again just hit delete. By the end of it, it's just gonna look like this. You'll have drive zero, unallocated space. If you have additional drives and you want the data in those deleted as well, you have to select each one and you'll have drive one, unallocated space, drive two, unallocated space, and so on. If you only have one hard drive, this is exactly what it's going to look like in the end. And again, this is unrecoverable data that you just deleted, so make sure that you are prepared for that. Once you are at this point, you can select the drive you want the operating system on, hit Next. And now we are installing Windows nice and fresh. This will bring you to the out-of-box experience. And that's it for the video, guys. I am happy that you stuck around to watch it. Let me know if you need any help with any technical stuff that uh, comes by. Okay, so thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video.